Hello, welcome back to Satisfactory. I am Maker Gaming, and I think I might have been right in the middle of recording an episode, and I'm just over it. We are just designing today. Um, we just unlocked steel in the last episode. We did a few other things in the awesome shop. We got pillars and beams, which is all we need to do to extend this circle out. We are going to try to make... Um, Earth Kingdom from the Avatar show. I pop up a picture here. I was watching it with my son. I was like, oh, that'd be fun to build. So that's what that white circle is. I think we need to go at least twice as big, uh, if not three times as big, which is huge. So we're going to figure out steel, get it over there, and get started. Thanks for watching. Machines are so loud. Oh yeah, I bought the copper last episode and I just went crazy. We need more coal power also. Now all we need to do here is we could do a splitter. Or we could just leave it on like this for now. But then it won't keep producing when it fills. So yeah, we should probably do. Not sure how that's gonna work going bit by bit. It's not great for it, but uh, those they'll get through eventually, and then it'll just be pure steel pipes. And then we split half, take them to storage. All right, now we have these stacking up at all times. Yeah, so the elevator's going to be coming out that way. Okay, but let's figure this out. Uh, you go back to my circle episode if you want to see how to do the basic circle. I just realized we're not going to get any fly rate, any ray flyovers over here. Uh, but to extend it, I know there's different methods now with drawing out 10 meter increments. What I want to see is the steel beams... We just went out 10 there. So what is the length? We want to find a beam length that's as close as possible to 8 meters at free form right here. So that's 10. This would be 12. 7, 7, 11. That's not awful. 13. Let's say 8, 4, 8. That's not great, but let's see. If we were to do H, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I mean, we could do it from both sides, but that would be a total pain in the ass. I really need to buy some ladders. I don't really want to do this, but let's try one, two, three, four. Let's try twelve and a half. Eight point zero six. How noticeable is that gap? All right, so twelve is our best answer. Let's see what we can do with it. Seven seven one. It is what it is. We go one two three four one two three four, and I think we're just gonna do that, and we're just gonna have that slight overhang on the one side every time, and just make that the pattern. We also want to get rid of Z fighting, and we would prefer this one be on the bottom, and I think we'll even go with a different color. Let's go concrete for a little bit. We want that to be below both of these, but we'll see. Did not work. All right, let's just, we're just going to copy that process, make sure we got it right. 
Go from the right to the left each time. One, two, three, four, get it in place. Now, will this be the right size? I'm not sure yet. Alright, I'm going to repeat this process dozens and dozens of times and I'll be back. The way we're going to need to compare if this thing is big enough is how big the roads and the centerpiece are. And that means is, I almost think these need to be five wide. This trail on each side that comes out. And I do need, the middle needs to be at least seven. We need to see, we need to mark seven to see what that looks like as a circle. I know there's one around that size. Yeah, even seven would be preferable, but five's looking all right. Got to be somewhere where the outside wall looks proportional with at least two. It's got to be at least two foundations thick. I think seven is the way to go. That was so clutch. Did you see that? I had the little sliver. I was about to die. I'm proud of myself for that. Alright, I'm going to take a break for that. Get something set up. Alright, I mostly wasn't, I was recording without speaking, but I'm kind of coming up with some of the patterns right now, so I might as well check in. Been a quarter of the second size circle. I still don't know. Damn it. Alright, as I was saying, I got the second length of the circle done for a quarter circle. I still don't know if it's big enough. But, like with a quarter circle, we can kind of gauge if we have the right spacing. That's kind of what we're doing at the moment. This would be our seven that we talked about. I think three is the right amount. If we consider these little huts around that top ring, I mean, maybe constructors? Constructors with splitters and mergers would fit. I don't know if an assembler would look comfortable. I mean, maybe if we did all underfloor stuff. Also, I want to be doing these as half foundations. Because if we do half foundations, then we'll have a space in the middle of the wall. I don't think this wall is tall enough, but again, we're just, just trying out some things. Oh, shit. Do we go bigger than seven? No, we don't go bigger than seven, but we go bigger out here and maybe in the middle. All right, we, we're coming up with stuff. Our sample is draining us of our concrete, but let's check. This might not be a big enough circle.
All right, I pretty much finished fixing this thing up off camera, hopefully. So we've got the coal coming in from this side. We have the water coming in as a loop on both sides. Right now we have 120 coming in from the belt, but we need to upgrade that, but we need Mark three belts to upgrade that. So that'll do eight of the 10 machines. Same with the water, we actually still need to overclock these a little bit. But we're at a place now where we can power everything and it should work. Actually, I take that back. We need pumps here. And the poison uh, took me away from finishing them. That should do that. Nothing yet, but hopefully that just means there's no water in them. It says no power, but I'd like to think there's power. Water's going to start dumping in the two ends any minute now. So that last one and this first one should go off first. Bingo. I see you. Alright, I'm going to stand here for 45 minutes. There goes the far one. It take a while. It's going to take a while for that water to saturate this whole system. Well, actually, it can't do the whole system yet. It can only do eight. But we'll get it fully once we get that Mark III going. It's exciting. More power. Thanks for watching. <laughs> nice. What up, bro? Alright, we'll check in in a minute. Thanks for being here. Hold on, it takes 10 minutes to get down the ramp. Alright, let's give him something to watch. In the right angle. Also... I want to do all these raised up areas as 4 meters. It's going to mess up some things, but that's what we're going to do.
That was fun. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all this, but this is just the method for if you're trying to draw a circle or something and something like this is in the way, what you do is we know our angle of our circles, right? So we're extending these towers up where we have them and then we're zooping them out to where they need to be finalized. And so by having those two points out there now, we can do the beam that we need to do across the two points to get that middle section too. And we're going to do all that work on finishing out the circle up there. And then when all of that's right, then you just drag uh, the final result down and up as needed. Because all we really need these for is the wall. And the wall is going to come up out of that rock. And so, like I said, I'm not going to show it, but that's how you would do it. Alright, just chugging along with this build. Not recording all of it, actually. Oh, that looks cool. Um, I've got the entire ring wall done. At least in terms of the, you know, outline of it. Except here, I'm working through this problem. The problem here is you can't finish a circle. So you gotta pull up and finish these circles out at a higher point. Or these spokes these arcs and then you got to make the connection that beam trick across the gaps up here and then trace it back down so i've done a few of them but that's the only one that hasn't been done but i thought i'd time lapse this this is simple enough we ended up we're doing the seven design in the middle um for now anyways um the one in the middle we're keeping at a two meter height from the main ground uh, because of the entrances and then the three on the either side or we're doing the four meters and then we're doing four uh, four foundation layer back here I don't think this is brown at the moment and I'll fix things like that that won't stand right now we're just getting the framework I probably skipped all these little builds in my videos, but I did build a little concrete depots at every limestone node nearby. Because I knew I just wanted to work on this uh, area. And I knew it was going to take a lot of concrete, as seen here. So I kept both up, the brown and the white, different layers, and I still just don't know which one I like the most. I, I, I'm leaning towards having the extra little brown segment. Oh, and this is worth noting, I did this off camera too. I made these so that there's going to be no Z fighting there. How did I know there'd be no Z fighting? Because I actually placed these a little bit different. Um, if you can tell that tiny little ridge right there, these seven and one on the outsides of this seven wide road, what I did was this trick. So say that was the one inside of what I needed and the one I needed was here. I just did this and then with the pillar, you line it up and you can go infinite nudge, whatever you want to call it. And you go to where it turns yellow and then you just Barely raise it off the ground. Let me 
set that there and it's just slightly raised and takes over all the Z fighting. But you can't see it unless you're right up on it. Alright, so we delete the ones that go past this barrier and the rest are covered up perfectly. And you just gotta make sure you're zooping off the right one. So yeah, we're going to get rid of all circle stuff over here because we need, let's just see what all we need to get rid of, because we definitely want the walking spaces, right? So I believe this will get us what we need, we're going to take two of these out, we can always use well, I was going to say, I don't even know if we'll have the outer ring for this one. No, we could have it right there. Yeah, we can get we can get them all back if we need them. All these spokes. So we want to have that showing proudly. Go two meter. Yeah, I kind of like that. Maybe I leave that open and even shape it a little better to fit. Do I? Did I buy the stairs yet? Alright, coming back in, we're just fixing some stuff, some final, final, some final odds and ends before we, I mean, get to really decorating, right? This is just the, this is just the outline. Looks like we'll have this little rock to deal with, that big patch of sand to deal with, and that's pretty much it, which I can, I can deal with that. We just got to finish up get all these on the right path which just realized I'm on the wrong material color again but I'm getting good at switching back between two you know what I should actually be putting them on the hot bar we did it that's not too bad oh I'm pretty high up That's pretty bad. <laughs> I thought it shrunk to like a third of its size. It is what it is though, it's not, it's fine. Did that go off the right? I don't think that went off the right. I think that was highlighted because it was coming off of it. I want it to come off of this. Well, it's doing that there too. Oh, that feels good. The whole ring is done. The whole wall. This with stairs is a good idea, but I think because of the way it matches up, because you know this is probably more like seven meters across, because it's the inward part of this circle. Um, because of that, every second step, uh, you can't manually walk over. You have to do a little hop. 
So I think in a blueprint, I'll blueprint my own set of stairs that are seven wide and go up like that on both of these sides, I think. I think that's how we'll access the wall. And then we gotta start finishing the inside design and the base and tower in the middle, which is something I'm real excited about. All right, so we're going four down in the middle, four up, um, three over with this brown pattern in the middle of each one. And then this originally was seven out. Now it's a nine square, nine by nine. As long as we finish each of the sides. I love when you're like finished with the build or like a part of it and everything's starting to match. So like this should all be symmetrical everywhere except here we have a farther opening because this is going to be our main bus out to the rest of the world. So it's special but these other three are going to be identical. Alright I'm 95% sure we are done with the pattern. The only thing that doesn't match right now is one of the four quarters is half brown instead of all white up to the ridge. So let me know what you think. I, there is still time to go back. I could I could make the brown pattern for all four or the white pattern. So that's the different one, but the other four all match. Or I could even go for a more orange color. And then if we did the floor on this one, it would match better with that sand. But yeah, I think that shape is all right. I think we finished it. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to end it here. Um, yeah, Earth Nations Rising. Next time we do an episode like this, we'll get into the decorations, which we'll start with the base the tower which we're either going to move the space elevator or move it into the tower but i think i'd rather have other uses for it so probably no space elevator probably move it more northeast we've got some semblances of walls coming off of two of the sides plus our bus side um this one's a little weak to me give me 10 minutes to run around this circle we'll look at the other one This one's a lot more substantial. Oh shit, is my health? Oh! Of course, of course it's a design episode. Staring at my shit. That is our first game death, people. Days since last incident. Zero. We need signs. Uh, we need to commemorate our deaths. Mine and uh, my cameraman died yesterday. Death crate. It's been a while, death crate. They should keep your blade runners on death crate. And it's easy to find in terrain like this. Alright, what a way to end the first design type episode. With the... Damn, with our first death. We really need to mark that up. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.